Today we'll talk about the anatomy of uh, a Creative Commons license. And during this presentation, we'll basically look at the three different layers of a Creative Commons license. We'll look at four uh, distinct elements and different icons that are related to Creative Commons. And we'll look at the six different types of uh, Creative Commons license that are available. And we'll conclude by looking at some exceptions and limitations uh, with regard to copyright and also public domain. So the three different layers of Creative Commons include legal code, commons, deeds, and uh, machine readable. So by way of example, this particular presentation is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 international license. So if we go to this particular license, this would be an example of the uh, commons deeds license also known as the human readable version of the license. So this is uh, meant to be a little bit more user friendly, easier to follow uh, for uh, the, the non-lawyer. If you notice here, the, this line, this is a human readable summary of the license. If we open up this, we'll see uh, this, the, another layer of uh, license, which, uh, which is the legal code. So this is the more uh, technical terminology that relates to this license and is more of a complete and detailed look at uh, the protection and the conditions for uh, for this particular license. The machine readable layer is one that recognizes that software from search engines to office productivity to music editing plays an important key role to the creation, copying, discovery, and distribution of works. It really allows others to actually find the, the Creative Commons content. So the machine readable version of the license makes it easier for content to be uh, searchable. So if we go to Creative Commons Search, this is a, a website that uh, that'll helps search for different types of Creative Commons content and basically serves as a filter with Google to find different types of content. So for example, if I want to find a, an image of a tree, I select Google Images, for example, and it will take me to different images that are under a Creative Commons license. If we go under Settings, Advanced Search, and if you select usage rights, you have a way of uh, filtering through different types of content uh, through Google. And this is uh, permittable based on this machine readable uh, version of, uh, of the license. So going back to Creative Commons Search, you'll notice that if we click Flickr, you're able to find different images. So uh, Creative Commons Search. You're able to find different types of media, images. Uh, you can search the web, music, even videos and YouTube, Wikimedia Commons, SoundCloud as well. Now let's consider different elements, icons, and types of Creative Commons license. The six different types of Creative Commons licenses, you'll see that they rank from the most free to the least free. And of all the six, types of uh, Creative Commons license, there are different elements, four different elements that uh, one should consider when deciding on which of the six types of Creative Commons license is the most appropriate. So the first element, attribution, is the only element that is common throughout all of the six types of Creative Commons license. Attribution simply means that you're paying attribution or giving credit back to the original creator or creators of that work. So there is an obligation, regardless of the type of license, that we either include a link back, typically a link back to where the original work was uh, was found. Uh, it, you might also include the name of the person. Sometimes the licensor will include sp uh, specific uh, ways of giving or providing attribution. And in those cases, then that would need to be respected. But typically, for example, in the case of an image, a link back to uh, the image is sufficient, much as I have done here below uh, for this particular image that appears on the screen. 
So attribution is a common element throughout the six types. The second element of a Creative Commons license, share alike, uh, is for those cases where the content or the licensee should respect and maintain the same type of license as the original content and cannot be changed. So in this case, under CC by SA, there would not be an option to change this to a non-commercial license, for example. If one were using content that was licensed under a CC BY, then that would be an option. One could uh, change it essentially to any of the other types of uh, Creative Commons license. Um, but under a CC BY SA share alike, uh, they would have to maintain this same license CC by SA throughout. And so, so there would not, there would not be an option to, for example, change it to a non-commercial license. The next element to consider the third element would be a non-derivative option. So a CC by ND simply means that the work that one uses may not undergo any type of change or adaptation it needs to maintain the same original form. You'll notice the icon here, the icons that are associated with the non-derivative, as well as the share alike. This is the share alike option here. This is the attribution. And under the non-derivative, this would um, limit the, the user as far as uh, flexibility and what to, how to relicense it. You'll notice as we move from top to bottom, uh, the licenses become uh, less free or less open. And with a non-derivative, although one may not make changes to the work, it may be used for both commercial and non-commercial purposes. The last element to consider would be the commercial or non-commercial option under a CC by NC. Now this is basically for non-commercial purposes. And you'll notice the icon that's associated with the non-commercial option. And here we have the attribution as all of them share again, the attribution option. New works must be non-commercial and acknowledge the original work, but you don't have to license the derivative work on the same terms. Okay, so again, there's still a little bit of flexibility, but again, notice as we work our way down, that less options become available. The next type of license, attribution, non-commercial, share alike. So here we have our respective icons that relate. We have the, uh, the attribution, non-commercial, and share alike. So this license lets you remix, tweet, and build upon the original work non-commercially. As long as you give credit to the original work and license your new creations under the identical terms. Okay, so again, less options here as far as what others can do or how others can uh, relicense or reuse the information. They basically need to maintain the same license in this case. And finally, the attribution, non commercial, non derivative. This would be the least open option of the six different types. Again, we have our icons for the attribution, non-commercial, and non-derivative. So this chart gives, at a glance, the six different types of Creative Commons license that are available. We have the four different elements, that is attribution, share-alike, non-derivative, non-commercial options, and we have the different icons available. So it, it's worth becoming familiar with the icons. Sometimes only the icons appear and um, sometimes uh, links will be available for more specific information to each of the, um, the license. But when you're becoming familiar with the different license, if you visit creativecommons.org, it's worth becoming familiar with some of the different options. When you go to share your work under creativecommons.org, here you can go through a few simple steps determining which of the licenses is most appropriate for you. Just by answering a few of these questions, you will find that uh, it will select for you which of the uh, licenses is most, most appropriate. 
And you even have an option here to copy and paste certain HTML code if need be to copy and paste into your website. Notice here as you answer these questions differently, uh, this text will change as well. So it will also provide this information. Basically, this is what it would look like uh, given the way that uh, one would answer these questions. Okay, so in my case, under my website, that's what I've done. And you can see the, um, the text posted um, along the side, on the right side of my page, which is right here. So basically what I did was I just copied and pasted the HTML code and it automatically appears here. Uh, and I took that again directly from this page here from creativecommons.org. Okay, moving on. Uh, in prior videos, I discussed a little bit about ex uh, exceptions and limitations. But basically, uh, Creative Commons license, if, you're, if one's going to use Creative Commons license, it's important to become familiar with uh, the fair use, uh, even the TEACH Act but different limitations and exceptions that, uh, that relate to copyright because as Creative Commons is an extension of copyright, that knowing these exceptions um, is, is important. If work is under Creative Commons license, regardless of the amount of content that's used, there is an obligation to use to pay attribution back to the, to the individual. Under the public domain, if work is under the public domain, uh, it may have entered the public domain if the copyright time period has expired or some uh, creators decide to uh, post or create content to the public domain uh, immediately. But if, if information is in the public domain, then uh, it's not required to pay attribution. So it's not necessary to, uh, to credit the original author or creator of the work. Here are a few more useful links that you might find useful. And I want to thank you for watching. And this has been a short overview of the anatomy of the Creative Commons license. And I'll see you in the next video.